Welcome back uh, to Corporate Radar. Well, we've talked a lot about equities, which is not doing much, by the way, just sort of consolidating some time to take a breather from that and talk about the commodity space. Manisha Gupta is joining in. Uh, Manisha, what's the one commodity you're tracking today? Sonia, I'm looking at the crude oil prices. I mean, you know, we did see $88 and then we saw crash almost up to $70 a barrel and we are trading at $78 a barrel right now. So $8 from the lows as well is how we are trading. Half a percent of a decline, but we still are holding around that 78. We've seen four and a half percent of gains come in for the overnight market. And with that, the crude oil prices now are trading at a three-week highs. The latest uh, trigger for the crude prices rising is that there has been now legal disputes, which has halted four lakh barrels per day of exports from Sehan, Turkey. That leads to some supply concerns into the market. And add to that the nuclear war talk that Russian President Putin has been saying about putting static nuclear energies at Belarus is something that has been adding premium. And then apart from that, we've also had the Russian oil minister saying that the output export target cuts that they had put for the month of March, they are on those right now. So 500,000 barrels is what they had talked about. We do understand that 200,000 barrels per day has already been done in the first half of March itself. The banking sector concerns also have eased. We've seen buying return in risk key assets and that has uh, added to the some premium coming in for the crude oil prices there. The global oil trade worth $200 billion that happens, much of that relies on funds from banks. So with the bank's concerns coming in, we had seen crude prices decline quite sharply. But with that risk aversion, a risk being averted rather, we are looking at buying coming back in case of crude oil prices there. The markets also are looking at the China National Petroleum Corporation statement which says that China's 2023 demand is expected to rise by 6.2% to 540 million tons. This is by far the largest uh, demand expectation growth that we are seeing for this year. The prices in the meanwhile are down by nearly 10% for the first quarter of 2023 and not just crude oil prices. When you look at the month of March so far, we've seen 7.5% of decline for crude, 25% shaved off from the US natural gas and coal prices have continued to decline, trading below $200 a ton right now and a 9% decline coming in for that too. Okay, thanks a lot, Manisha, for that. Well, we also want to talk a little bit 